Jason, what was your relationship with alcohol like before the comeback? Man, so it was uh, it was definitely a relationship, about a 15 or 17 year relationship. Um, daily, two o'clock, afternoon, crack a cold one, and uh, stay up till one, two o'clock at night. Um, avoiding a lot of shit, you know, avoiding family, avoiding work, avoiding relationships, um, avoiding my, uh, uh, the real me, right? Avoiding, uh, running, hiding, uh, drinking a lot. How much was a lot? Somewhere between 18, uh, 18 beers a day and 24 beers a day, given the day. Sometimes even more than that, depending on what we were doing. And what's your relationship today after the comeback with alcohol like? Man, so uh, I'm probably a little unique, you know that, in some ways. Um, I feel like I've got complete control. I can go out to that bar that's uh, 15 foot from me over here, and I can go have a beer if I want to, um, if I choose to, right? But I know what the outcome's gonna look like, um, and I can stop at one. I can stop at two, um, or I can or I can not, right? Which I choose most to, uh, most of the time, 90, 99% of the time, but. But I can do that, right? I have complete, what I consider complete, absolute control over my biggest nemesis of half my life, which was, was alcohol and, and dope and all the other stuff, so. How about in your business, life, your kids, your wife? How much better is that? Man, you know, I've always, uh, I've always considered myself a pretty good dad, right? And, and uh, things were always uh, what I considered decent, right? But that was, again, there could have been a lot of lies there, right? And then I think that was the biggest thing. I was always really good to other people. I was very honest to other people, but I just fucking told myself lies constantly. It was every day. Um, and and why, I, why I needed to drink, why I wanted to drink and all these types of things. And so now it's uh, that's very different, right? The kids see it. My wife definitely sees it. Um, relationship has improved 100%. Um, not that it was really too bad before. Um, I, I really tried to focus on a lot of that. But again, that's me lying about it, right? It wasn't very good, right? It was, it was definitely going the bad direction. And, uh, and I saw that and that's why I stopped. Uh, that's, why, that's why I texted you in the middle of the fucking night to make things happen, so. What do you think the biggest gift the comeback has given you, but ultimately you give it yourself by doing the comeback? Man, the ability to know that there's nothing out there from here on out that can control me. Um, I fully have control. So no matter what happens out there, alcohol, drugs, dope, people, whatever, I have the ability, I have the, the choice to make that decision and I know what that decision is and why I'm choosing to. Um, I get that opportunity now. I'm not, I'm, there, there are no, um, I don't have a vice. There is no more vice, it's gone. Um, so now I get to go live life, it's fun. The guys that's on the fence, the guy that wants to text me in the middle of the night says he wants to get stuff together. Would you Me? recommend us? What's the advice you'd give him as far as making that commitment? Man, when you're ready, it's um, when you're ready, you know? I think that's the biggest key. It took me, I started texting you a year ago, right? And, and it took me six months to be ready. Um, but uh, once that's in your mindset and you kind of know, hey, uh, you know, it, it's, it's getting to be a problem or it is a problem, right? Reach out, man. Um, it's the greatest thing you ever do. Uh, it truly can, life's worth living. Um, it, it's not, um, you're not tied to the bottle, you know, you're not tied to the, the baggie, um, the pipe or whatever it may be, right? It's, uh, you get to live again, man. And, and you get to be part of your kid's life and, and teach them the right way, right? They're looking up to us um, as men. And I think that's a big thing, being a, a youth minister, if you will, and a coach. Um, there's a lot of challenges out there with with fathers these days, right? There's a lot of dads, but there's not a lot of fathers and there's not a lot of people teaching the youth and, and giving good examples. And and I think that's uh, that's one thing I've really got a lot of clarity on now is and I'm that guy, right? I can be that guy that can take a group of kids somewhere and they look up to me because they know I'm doing the right things. They know that I'm 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 preaching what I'm saying or, or living how I'm preaching. And. And, and when I teach them something, they take it for full face value. It's not, oh, he's full of shit because he's fucking drunk, right? Um, yeah, it's a game changer, man. Be ready. Be ready. That's the key. Be ready.